Hey there, Tinkercad friends. I am back with another Code Blocks challenge for you. Today I'm going to give you some of the basics, but then I want you to take this crazy Code Blocks flower to awesome levels. So let's get coding. First things first, scroll down and find your Code Blocks. And then when you get there, choose the New Design button. When we start a design, we should always name it. Let's make sure we call this one Flower, and I'm going to put my initials after it. My big goal here is for you to understand how to create parts out of other parts using the very cool count with command. So our first thing we're going to do with this flower is break it into its smallest piece, the petal. So create a new object. When it comes out, rename it petal, P-E-T-A-L. You can explore other objects for petals after you build the first one. I'm going to tell you that our first one should be built with a cylinder. You can pick any color you want. I'm going to do that real quick with a pink. And then we want to expand it out, and we want it to be 10. We want a height of 3, so that our petal is kind of thin. Let's give it 64 sides. And then these edges can make it look real cool. Let's put a 2 and a 1. If you hit play right now, your petal is kind of silly. It's kind of a circle. Check this out, though. We are going to go to Modify, and we're going to pull out the Scale tool. And the scale lets you turn this into something that looks more like a flower petal in an instant. Start with the numbers that I give you, and then after you've done my petal, then you can fiddle with some other petal designs. So I'm going to do 0.5 for Y. I've got 2 for X. I'm going to keep the 1. And when you hit play, you have got an interesting petal design. If you look at it from the front, you'll notice it's half above zero and below zero. That is typical, and we're going to leave it that way because the next part takes care of getting it up in the air and out of the way for us. Remember, our goal was to make a flower, so let's bring out another Create New Object, rename this one to be Flower. And then with this, we want to bring out the amazing Count With command. And I always like to count from 0 to 10, and I'm going to make 10 petals. I'm going to count by 1. And then we use the nifty add copy of an object. It asks what object we want, so we go to data, and we're going to add a copy of our petals. I'm going to make those petals a different color so they're easy to see, so I can tell the difference. And then I've got to modify where each petal shows up by using the rotate command. I want to rotate around the Z axis. And then I don't want to use 90 degrees. I want to use some math. So go to your math tool and bring out the math operator. I'm going to tell you to put it down below because we're going to build a complex math operation. I want you to put a second one in the first one because there's going to be math inside the math. So to figure out how to rotate, let's take the 360 degrees that we have in a circle. And let's divide them by how many times we are adding our petal. And we are adding 10 petals. And then each time it rotates, it's going to take that piece of math, and we want to multiply it times the variable i. So that way, each time we rotate our flower, it'll adjust. Once you've got your cool piece of math built, drop it in the rotation location, and then bring out one more xyz of 0 which for now we're going to leave right at that location, and then hit play to check out your cool flower drawing. Notice there's our first petal, and then all of a sudden it starts doing the purple petals, and there is our nifty flower in almost no time. Now you notice it's on top of itself. Wait till you see how we fix that. By just changing the pivot to an X of 10, all of a sudden, it will move out and draw our flower petals away from that center, which makes it look much, much cooler. Bam! You've got an almost instant and epic flower. Let's real quickly turn it into a group. Let's delete that main object, because we don't need the petal anymore. So we just go to the data, and we drop that in place. Let's stand our flower up with a rotate command. This time we're going to stay with x90, and our pivot, we want to put in that 0, 0 again. 
and then we want to move it up in the air with a simple move command. You can test this before you do it, or you can just follow my numbers. Let's hit play and watch the flower come to life. And there you have it. An amazing flower with all the numbers that you can adjust. You could put a center in it using all the different shapes you have here. You can try different petals. You could add a stem with a cylinder by creating a new word stem. You could add, add leaves using the same idea as the petal. And you could put leaves on your stem. You could even make an epic flower pot. So friends, I've given you something to experiment with. Master this skill. See what kind of cool things you can make. Have a blast. If you make something epic, make sure you share it with us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at HLModTech. If you like the video, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. If you want to leave a question or comment, please do it down below and click that notifications bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HLModTech. Thanks for watching. Keep tinkering.